This is a TEBF0808 from Trends Electronics. It's a main board for the FPGA module that we want to use, the Ultra Scale Plus. The first thing in the Getting Started manual is a list of all the different features on the board. So we thought we'd go through them here in the video and point them out. Number one is a reset button. This little silvery guy here with a silvery top, it's even clickable. It goes into one of the CPLDs on the board and eventually resets the FPGA. Number two is D7, which is a red LED. And it's located allegedly right there. Oh, really small. And there's actually D7 and D6. Yeah. There one are is two. a red LED for usage, and the other is a green LED for usage as well. These are status LEDs. There okay. are two of them. They're, they're, they're small, but and you can they, see yeah, them. They're there. very tiny here on the very edge of the board. Number three is the power button. That would be this, another one of the standard clicky buttons. Number four is a power jack. Here we go. It's a coaxial power jack. Looks like very standard dimensions. Number five is dip switches for boot mode. An FM CV ADJ. That's, uh, this, these are micro dip switches. Looks like they're half the regular pitch or maybe even smaller than that. That's a, that one's a four position dip switch. Six is enclosure pin header. This has reset and power buttons. It has something called an HD LED and it's listed as usage status slash user. And it has a power LED. Okay, this is a, a nine pin header. So it's a 10 pin header with one pin removed with standard 10th inch spacing it looks like. Number seven is a dip switch for CPLD access and power control. It's another little micro four pin. Number eight, XMOD with green dot for module JTAG and UART. That's this little uh, sub board here. Number nine, XMOD for CPLD, FMC JTAG, and firmware ID over UART. This is another copy of exactly the same board over here. I believe one of these has some special licensing burned into it and the other one doesn't. So they have to be left in their respective sockets to work correctly. Number 10, FPGA done LED. And there's a note that the location varies slightly on different module series. Yeah, these four connectors here are where the module board mounts. We don't have the module board plugged in just yet. So somewhere on that board, there's an LED. Number 11 is the ATX power connector. That's this over here. This is the first hint at this board's secret identity as a, a PC emulator. It has all the standard I.O. connectors you might get on a PC motherboard. So uh, that's where you plug in the power supply. Number 12 is an SFP LED red and its usage is listed as status slash user. Yeah, it's part of this big shiny thing. It's that hole right there. It's got an LED sticking out of it and it's a status indicator for that network module it plugs into there. 13 is another SFP LED. In this case it's green. Usage is status slash user. It's just the right side mirror of the one we just saw. Number 14, USB hub LED green for suspend. Okay, that's down on the board somewhere in between the blue connector and the shiny one. Number 15 is an SFP LED red. Usage is status and user. It would be there, I believe. 16 is SFP LED green. Again, its usage is for status slash user. And that would be on this side. I can't see that there are LEDs in these two holes. These two holes have visible LEDs, so it may be down inside the uh, inside the connector, or it may be that it's actually on the module that plugs into the SFP carrier. 17 and 18 are LEDs for Ethernet. One's yellow, and one is green slash orange. Yeah, this is the slow speed Ethernet. I suspect those LEDs are probably on the on the back side. Let's see if we can 
get a look at them. Yeah, these LEDs here. Number 19, another LED, green, usage, status, slash, user. And there's another one that's uh, red, LED. Usage is status, slash, user. So 19 is two LEDs. Okay, and they're on the board between these two connectors. And then we have the lettered items. All right, letter A is a PMOD 3.3 I squared C bus. Okay, so it's this it's a 12 pin header connector where a, a PMOD board can plug in with any kind of I squared C peripheral. B is an audio enclosure. That's connectors to the audio jacks on the enclosure. C is a fan, or it's fan one, 12 yep. volts. Yeah, this would, this would hook up to a fan in your PC chassis. It does look familiar. D is I squared C for optional module PLL access. It's a shrouded 10-pin header. E is a, listed as Firefly GTH. Some kind of flex circuit board connector. I'm not sure what the Firefly means. F, SATA. Okay, for external disk drive. G, Firefly with a note, loop back only. Okay, so I guess this Firefly can talk to that Firefly, uh, but only to prove that they both interfaces work. H, PMOD, 3.3 volt, I squared C bus. All right, do you have an I? Mm-hmm. All right. That's this three pin header here. I is listed as I squared C, Firefly. J, fan number two, 12 volt. That's over here. K, PCIe 1X. That's this whole thing. It's a giant full-size PCIe slot, but with only one lane hooked up. L, battery holder for a CR1220. It's this, presumably to run the uh, real-time clock when the board's not plugged in or something of that nature. M is PJTAG. JTAG for programming, I guess. N is listed as CAN. Like canvas? Yeah. Yep. Looks like it. All right. O is a FMC HPC. It's this. This is so FPC. FMC is the mezzanine connector for FPGAs. And you said this was the... Uh, HPC. The HPC. This is the high density pin count uh, version of that connector. Right. P is fan 3, 5 volt. Okay, so it's even got a fan hooked up to it already. Q is CAN, again. It's this 10-pin uh, shrouded header. Yes, and the, the CAN from N and the CAN from Q are listed as same as each other. Okay. R, SD. It's a secure digital card slot here, full-size card slot. S, USB 3.0. 2x enclosure. Okay, so by enclosure they mean it's part of the case that you put it put this board into. So this hosts a flex cable that goes over to the USB port on the case, and this is a non-standard pin spacing connector. T SFP 2x. Okay, so this is by 2x I think. Do they mean that there's room for two? Yeah. Yeah. So there's room for two of those SFP networking modules to plug in here on the end. U, USB 3.0, 2X, <laughs> and Ethernet 1X. So that's this shiny enclosure and we've already seen the, the, the back of. V is DisplayPort 1X. Cool. So you can hook up to a monitor. W, PMOD. 3.3 volt FPGIOs. Okay, so we have three PMODs all around the corners of the board. And then there is something listed as WB, bottom side, J16, is a micro SD. That would be this. Yes. Yeah. The back side is full of interesting stuff. Here's a lattice CPLD, and here's another one. And this is the fan. Very good. All right, so that's a walkthrough of what's on this board. We will be putting it into a case 
and uh, mounting the FPGA module board on it and hopefully running some kind of hello world on it sometime in the near future. See you soon.